Hey guys, it's SD again. Got a pretty good day of sun uh, so far. We are sitting at 27.7 uh, volts coming in. Batteries are at 27.2. Uh, we're at about 1,060 watts coming in at 38.9 amps. And we've got 3.5 kilowatt hours so far. Still sitting at bulk. Uh, MPPT and still on Legacy PO. Uh, a little while ago, we went ahead and hooked up the Missouri Wind and Solar uh, Wind Turbine Brake Switch. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be able to spin freely. And this is when you're in brake mode right there, from what the instruction says. But this is all wired in with number 10. And since I'm hooking up the Freedom, it's actually two separate. 24 volt wind generators in one and I've got this running down through the chase come down where it'll tie in to where the line comes into the shed and coming over here I got some Brumdy uh, lugs uh, that I connected onto the uh, bridge rectifiers each of the bridge rectifiers has a little tab that comes out and has two holes in it well, I got a uh, nut and bolt and washer set to go through there that'll hold this uh, lug in there really tight and use a screwdriver and a ratchet and torque them on there really good so they're not moving at all and uh, got this all wired up the three strands coming in from this one here and then the other one uh, hooked up over here and if you look down on the bottom here's your uh, positive from this one comes over goes into the positive of the other one and then comes out and goes to the uh, Missouri Wind and Solar Charge Controller. Same thing from the negative. Comes out. Let me back the camera off a little bit here. Oh, going the wrong way. Coming from the negative. Comes over this negative and I come out and I'm using number four. And that's coming up to the uh, charge controller. And we got some lugs we put on here. Wired up just like they're saying to do in the book. So this should be ready to rock and roll. Just waiting on some parts that uh, Jeff sent me. They uh, put the uh, smaller bolt kit that came with the uh, Freedom 2. It's for the, uh, I guess the Freedom wind generator and the one I have uh, is a dual. So the bolts need to be like eight, eight and a half inches long. But we're still doing pretty good. It's at 38 amps right now and still at 3.5 kilowatt hours so far. Got the trench pretty much all set up. Ready to go. Concrete's poured. And we'll get ready to hook this up. It's up there 20 feet. All I gotta do is take these bolts out of this side here are the lag bolts out of here and here on each of these three uh, mounts and lower this back down get the freedom hooked up to it run the wire down it'll come out through here the uh, PVC will be over to the side over here uh, where it'll come out that will have a little bit of slack line that'll come from here and then go over like that that gives this clearance so when this lowers down the PVC won't be in the way you can see the sun, it's hitting the panels pretty good right now. It started since uh, about 8.30 this morning. It's a little afternoon right now. So, it's almost getting to be the best part of the day for sun. But it's a half an hour. Well, she's coming along. Hopefully I can get the uh, part in there by this first, so I can get the wind generator up this Saturday and make a video of that. Here's the, uh, the magnums sitting at 27.4 and this hasn't been shut off for three weeks now. It's been running non-stop. I think the lowest my batteries have got down to is uh, 24.9 but uh, that's using it uh, computers and TVs and 
uh, computer modem, what have you. Just keep right on trucking. Alright guys, we'll catch you a little later on. Have a good one. Hey guys, it's SD. I'm just goofing around in the shed here. To, the uh, tracking number says my bolt should be here tomorrow, so I went ahead and started putting the uh, Missouri One and Solar uh, Freedom 2 uh, dual 24 volt wind generator together. There's the tail section, part the uh, PMA hooks to, got the blades all set up, I got the uh, seven blades set up. And, man, I have to get this thing up in the wind. But you know how it usually goes, once you get it put together and up in the, uh, on the tower, the, you get a couple of days of no wind just to mess with you. Anyway, let's see what we're doing. Still at about 940 watts coming in. Uh, we're at 5.1 kilowatt hours, 28.2 coming in. Batteries are at 27.7. Got 35 uh, amps coming in. Still doing pretty good. Had a little bit of overcast today. Tomorrow is supposed to be uh, clear and sunny for about the next four days. So we'll see how she does. We're at 5.1 kilowatt hours right now. Not too bad. That's the second time now we've been over five. But it had a little bit of cloud cover to break through, so it's not too bad. Everything's working good. And this setup is waiting for the Freedom 2 to go up in the air. So. That's going to be a fun day. Alright guys, we'll catch you a little later on.